So using the slope on this thing, I find the change in my y is that from 1 to 5, I'd have to add 4. And then the change in the x is from 5 to 8, I would have to add 3. So uh, that means I've got two legs. Uh, uh, making the colors. I'd have a leg that has a length of 4. And then another length of a leg, which is 3. And I want to find the hypotenuse on this thing. So I would use uh, c squared equals 3 squared plus 4 squared. And I would find that c squared equals 9 plus 16 is 25. So I did skip a couple steps there. And uh, square rooting both sides of this thing, I would find that c is 5. So my hypotenuse here would be 5 units. So if I want to round it to three decimal places, I mean, you can be real picky about this stuff. I'm okay with it just being five, though. Uh, this is a nice set because we have three whole values, which kind of intrigued those Pythagoreans. So when they started to party, someone finally came in and said, oh, look, we can find this with three whole numbers. And then they just, that, that caused a riot right there. Um, and they, they found lots of them which you can look up on the internet and they will show you them. And then you can party like a Pythagorean. All right, so let's check this one out using the formula. So I'd have the square root of some value. We're gonna, oh, that's subtraction, what the heck. We're gonna add this and subtract and square that stuff. So I'm gonna say that uh, x1 is five. That's this value from this point here, and the y1 value is 1. And then I'll use this point as my two values, so I've got 8 and 5. Now, if we work with just the parentheses, just operating inside the parentheses, we'd get that negative 3 and negative 4. Let's go and square those. And that gives us the square root of 9 plus 16. And 9 plus 16 is 25. The square root of 25 is 5, so that'd be 5 units which is what we had already found before, right? Right here. So that just confirms uh, with, with problems like this that have whole values uh, in the point for both points, then we could either draw a picture like we did, you could graph it, but also the distance formula will work as well.